Hi there, and thanks for stopping by my channel, A Square Pillow Isn't Square, the place where you will learn anything and everything you ever wanted to know about home deck sewing. If you've been to my channel before, you'll know that all of my videos are about sewing tips, techniques, and tutorials, but today I'm doing something different. I happened to come across an old photo from an apartment I used to live in where I was on a really tight budget and I wanted to come up with an easy, quick, creative window treatment that wouldn't put a lot of holes in my apartment walls and windows. This no-sew, funky, versatile layered window treatment is what I came up with. Unfortunately, everything I used to make that window treatment is long gone, so I'm going to combine uh, images of this photo with some newer materials and scarves that I have around the house to show you how to do this. The materials you'll need for this project are some safety pins, three strong nails, two each of two different types of scarves, and either a table runner or a piece of fabric that you can hem or self-line. When you're picking out the scarves for the under layer, the first layer of this treatment, you're going to want to look for something that's at least half the width of your window. This layer looks pretty with some fringe or tassels on the end, and you don't want it to be too stiff. The scarves I chose for the front or outer layer are a little bit narrower and they're really lightweight and they gather up to a very um, small amount of fabric so they're not too bulky. And the middle little valance layer that I use, you can kind of make that as, as wide or as narrow as you want it to be. Um, mine's about 12 or 13 inches wide and you just want to make sure that that is going to be at least as long as your window and still have a little bit of room for a little slouch or droop to it. The next step is to hammer in your nails. Put one right in the middle and then put the other two on either corner. Take each of your two scarves that are going to be your layer that ties back and just fold over the top of it. Folding it over will give the top a finished edge but it will also give it some extra strength. So for this look I like this layer stretched tight at the top. So start by putting a safety pin in one corner at the, through the folded edge and that's going to be the center point of the window treatment. Now measure the distance from the center point to your outer nail and put your safety pin along the top edge of that curtain panel at whatever that measurement is and hang it up. Now to tie it back just gather up that scarf slash curtain panel and put a nail or a cup hook wherever you want your tie back to be. I liked mine high on this window, but you can do it lower, you can do it in the middle, you can do it where anywhere you like. Just um, put something in to hold back your scarf curtain panel and just do the same thing uh, on the other side. Okay, next is going to be your fabric or table runner layer. You're going to just find the center of that, put a safety pin in, and then play around with it. Um, you know, get, get the little slouch or droop the way that you want it, and put a safety pin at that point at the outer corner and hang those up on your uh, nails just like you did the first layer. Dress out the sides of this layer by just folding it back and forth until you get it into a nice looking design. The last step is to take the narrow scarves and you're going to overlap them a little bit over that center nail. You can tie them together, you can knot them, you can get as creative as you want here at the center. And just gather them up, drape them as you like, and hang those over the nail. You should be able to dress it out so that this outer layer of scarf covers the nails, covers the safety pins, and pretty much camouflages the corners of the other layers. The number of looks you can get with this design are just unlimited. So I hope you like this video. Have fun playing around with all of your different layers and scarves and fabrics. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of the other tutorials and videos I have on my channel. And subscribe so you know that when I post a new video, you'll get a notification. 
Thanks so much for watching and happy sewing, or in this case, happy not sewing. Bye.